and what is up guys average gear reviewer here back again with another quick little unboxing unpackaging video for you guys i am so excited because i think i might have finally found the perfect edc fixed blade well it's not this one this is not the actual okay let me explain welcome Average Gear Review, where the best gear is the gear you have on. Over the bench, I know you guys probably thought I forgot, but as always, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, thanks so much for stopping by. If you're a returning viewer, great to see you again. I hope you're doing well. So guys, let's, let's get into this. Okay, we're over here at the bench and let's get into this thing. I'm so excited, guys. I don't know if you've been watching my videos lately. I've been sort of on a uh, a journey trying to find the perfect fixed blade EDC knife. And this knife is not that particular knife, but 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 allow me to explain. This knife is based on that knife. And and I know what you're going to say. It's it's a copy <laughs> sort of yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a copy. I'll just give it that. But, you know, like I've said before, I like to test out concepts before I fully implement them. And a lot of times that can be buying something that's a little less expensive, uh, sort of like with the SLCP dagger, which turned out to be one of my very favorite fixed blade knives. And I almost always have it on me. And I think it's really close to being the perfect EDC knife. But Doing these searches, I've been trying to find the one that just to me, I thought was absolutely perfect. And I can't find it. And honestly, I think I'm going to have to try and see if I can find somebody to design one for me. Because I, I have an idea in mind of exactly what I want. And I just can't quite find it. But when you guys see this one, if you know of something that's similar to this, let me know. Because it may be what I'm looking for. Oh, this is cool. Let me look real quick and see the company on this one. Oh boy. This one was made by Huau. Huau, I think is the name of it. Hu Huau. It's it's a Chinese company. And 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 you guys know what you're looking at if you if you've you, you probably already know what knife this is based on. If you've already guessed, it's a knife by Huao or Huao. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'll put a link for it in the description. But it's based on the Anaconda by Tour. And as soon as I saw one of these, I just thought that is, that is it. That is what I've been looking for. And it, it's so close. It's so close. I'm going to have to take the scales off and uh, mess with that a little bit. It comes with a, a fairly nice little sheath. Good pocket clip on it. And I, I have to say, this was not an expensive knife at all. I think these are running about $29. I'll leave a link for it in the description down below. So if you want to pick one up there, you can. But uh, let's get into the particulars and I'll tell you a little bit about this knife. And I just, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I love it. It's so cool. Let's talk about it. So going over some of the, uh, just the overall specs on the knife, you are looking at a three, right at 3.5 inch blade. Well, almost a four inch blade, about a 3.75 inch blade, but a, about a 3.5 inch cutting surface. If you can see there, it's uh, got a pretty big sharp nature oil here. And then a finger guard. So your cutting length is about 3.5 inches. It is about 0.83 inches in width. Now that's not including the ring. The ring itself is right at an inch and a quarter. Um, it's perfect size. It fits very well over my index finger, and I'm assuming that it will fit over a pair of gloves. I'll try that here in a second. 
Um, it is a full tang, supposedly. I'm going to take the scales off here and see what it looks like under that. So stick around uh, if you want to see that. And um, like I said, it is an 8CR13 MOV steel drop point blade. Got some really nice jimping on the back of the blade here. And you can see it, it is a fairly thick, fairly thick piece of steel there. Uh, it is 0.14 inches, so 3.7 millimeters, roughly. Uh, and the handle length, so we'll start the handle there, I guess. I'm going to say the handle length is about 4 inches. Let's see the overall length. So overall length is a little bit over eight, like right at eight and a quarter inches for the overall length. So if you got a 3.75 inch blade, eight and a quarter, so that leaves you three, four and a half, about a four and a half inch handle. So that seems about right. It fits very, very well in my hands. And I do have a little bit larger hands. I usually wear uh, extra large size gloves, although I do buy them a size down. It's got such a great feel in the hand. Nice G10 inlays on the handle. And they do have some nice texture to them there. To me, seems like, and even looking at the specifications, it is just almost a direct, a direct comparison to the Tor Anaconda, which to me, I think it is, might be the best fixed blade, like tactical EDC knife out there. It just has so many things in it that I want um, in a perfect, in a perfect, you know, fixed blade EDC knife. I was really blown away by the uh, SOCP dagger uh, Benchmade designed. <clears throat> really blown away by that knife. And this is just a slightly larger version of that. And um, yeah. Got a nice feel to it though, not not too heavy in the hand. I think it's weighing in at uh, what was it, five point five ounces, so not very heavy at all. They are claiming a Rockwell hardness of fifty eight to sixty HRC on this uh, eight CR thirteen MOV steel. I'm not sure about that. I don't have a way to verify it. Um, it is pretty sharp out of the box. Uh, I will say that, and we'll cut a couple of things with it here in a minute, but. Uh, First, I did want to take the handles off. So let's get the old bit driver out of the pocket platform. Let's see what size we need. Looks like. Okay, so they are T8s. Wonder if only one side loosens, maybe? Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Okay. So you do have to loosen them from one particular side. Okay. Got it now. Okay, so those, those are some T8, T8 pivots in there, but you have to do them from, the, uh, from one particular side of the knife. I guess it would be uh if you're looking at the knife this way it'd be the right hand side of the knife those if you want to take these scales off those will be the pivots you have to loosen because the other ones just don't seem to turn and uh okay so they're more like barrels nice little bit of oil in there okay so yeah let's get something to wipe that off Wipe a little bit of that excess oil off of there so we can get a good look at it. And you can see you're getting a full, full tang knife there. There's no, you know, the only two pieces that are, are cut out are the pieces for the, the, um, barrels and the barrels and the uh, pivot screws to go through. So yeah, nice solid piece of metal there. And I'm not sure that I don't like it more without the scales on it, but I'm going to leave that for a little bit of carry. I'm going to try it with the scales on 
It seems like these would be really easy to swap out, and I don't know how hard it is to find scales. I'm assuming that scales for um, an anaconda would fit this, although I, you know, I, I don't know about that. But uh, yeah, so that was super easy, huh? Once we got it figured out, get those started. Let's tighten back up nicely. I have to say I'm impressed with the quality of this. I don't know if I mentioned this knife was $29. Um, you know, the uh, Tor Anaconda that this knife is, I'm just going to say based off of and not uh, copied from, is I think they are running... Let me check here. And the uh, Tor Knives Anaconda that it's based off of, those are running $269. No, no, um, Blade HQ has got them on sale for $236. That's right. I'll put a link in the description down below if you've been looking for one of those. They're as actually discontinued now. And I believe the Serpent is the one that's going to take over that spot, I, I believe. I don't know if those shifted a little bit. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, put them on upside down. Anyway, we'll fix that. Um, I do really like the sheath. It comes with a nice, very nice, heavy-duty Kydex sheath. Um, the pocket clip is really great for putting on a belt, and I might show you a couple of mounting options with that. Um, it's great for putting on a belt, but I, I really want to get an ulti clip slim to put on here so you can clip it to uh, jeans or inside a pair of shorts or something. Because um, that is a big old honking clip on that thing and adds a, it adds a lot of weight to it. So that's something I definitely would want to uh, swap out. But yeah, let me give you. Just wanted to do a couple of quick little cut tests here before my ring light dies again on the little wow ring dagger. Let's try a post-it note. Oh yeah, it's not very, not very sharp at all. It doesn't seem to be. Well, okay. Starting a little further back, but. Up in here, maybe the grind is a little uneven. I have to touch it up on uh, on a sharpener. This is uh, this is right out of the box, so it hasn't been sharpened or you know done anything to. Let's see if it'll fare a little better against some just regular cardboard here. Okay, yeah, goes right through cardboard. French fries, some nice fringe there. So yeah, it's it will go right through cardboard for sure, without much difficulty. I think I identified what the problem is when I was. Um, I don't know if you can really see it, but you can really feel it. It's a uh, it the grind is a little bit uneven on it. So uh, I think I might uh, take it up to the old workshop work sharp and uh, just see if we can touch it up a little bit. Give it a couple of passes on the work sharp guided fill sharpener. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these, but they are super cool. Um, I've had this one for a while. As you can tell, it's pretty dirty. I've used it a lot, but it does have a, it, it's got a coarse stone, a fine stone, a stropping edge, and then it's got ceramic rods that you can rotate from a coarse to a really fine and then also there's a uh, hook sharpener sort of um, trough there on that one. And it, the reason they call it the guided field sharpener is because it, it does have these angles on it that allow you to get just the right, uh, it's like a 20 degree angle on the edge. So I wanted to just hit it on this thing a couple of times and see if that will fix it. So yeah, just, just a couple of passes with that I think is, is really all it needed. Just to try to even out. 
Oh yeah. Yep. It's got a good bite to it. It's a little bit much for the uh, post-it note sometimes, I think. Um, but yeah, that's all it needed was just a little bit of evening out there, I think, on that front. And I think it should still. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cutting sideways through it now. But yeah, it still cuts through the cardboard just fine. Try a little just regular. Yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. I'm not going to get any crazy curly cues out of it. But yeah. So touched it up a little bit there and it, it, uh, it is way sharper now. So just, yeah, out of the box, the grind on it just wasn't really all that even. But uh, like I said, just a couple of touch-ups on the old uh, work sharp there and it's good to go. So yeah, guys, I'm a huge fan of this knife. I really, I'm really, really impressed with it. In a nicer steel, this would be, I believe this might be really close to just what exactly what I'm looking for, for an EDC fixed blade, uh, more on the tactical side of EDC knives. And, um, you know, I have to say the Tor Anaconda or the Serpent right now is looking to me like it's going to be the closest to what it is that I'm looking for. But guys... I'm, I'm looking for a knife that I, I think it doesn't exist. And I, I'm really curious if there are any knife makers out there who would, who would be interested in prototyping a knife. I have very close to exactly what I want. And, and where I'm coming from with this, it's not just stuff I'm making up out of my, you know, just on my own. I was, uh, you know, I, I really like the uh, Sean Ryan show and he does a lot of great interviews with uh, Navy SEALs, former operator, CIA guys, GBRS guys. And he did an interview with, uh, uh, what is the guy's name? Uh, it's Dom Razo was his name. And he has a website called crusheverything.com. You should definitely go check that out. I'll put a link for it um, here on the screen and I'll put a link down in the description for it. Um, he makes some knives. They're, uh, they're designed by Winkler uh, along with him. And they're fixed blade knives and they're very much in the range of, you know, the karambit style ring, ring type knife. And, and this to me is just as far as like an EDC, everyday carry blade, fixed blade knife. This is very close to, to exactly what I want, but it's not quite. Um, on the crusheverything.com, they've got one that's called the uh, Razorback, I think. And since I'm from Arkansas, I think that was super cool. I'd love to get my hands on one. Um, but th their knives are like $700, I want to say. So you're talking really, really, really high range uh, custom type knives. It's just not something that I can afford. But the Tour knives are sort of a more affordable um, concept for that. And like I said, they have the Serpent, which is exactly like this knife. And so this really, for me, was more like a proof of concept uh, to see how close this is to what I'm wanting. And, and I have to say, this is very close and I almost could settle for this as just like a perfect EDC knife. And really probably uh, actually one of the tours, um, you know, they have, the, they come in like a CPM M4 steel. So just like a super steel on those. Um, incredible knives. You should check those out. But uh, if you're interested in picking one of these up, I'll have a link down below in the description. It's an Amazon affiliate link. So as always, you know, it does help the channel out a little bit. But guys, a lot of the times I can find a lot better deals. And I think this one, um, I don't remember how much it was off. There was some amount off on there. I, I can't remember for sure. But check the link and see. There's always some sort of discount on those. Um, so I just try to pass them on to you guys. Let me know in the comments down below what knife you would recommend. It's very similar to this. Um, what I'm looking for is a more symmetrical, sort of like the SOCP, but uh, maybe just like a, a slightly larger version of this and with a different type of blade. 
But um, if there are any blade makers out there who think that you could prototype one of these, possibly, let me know. Uh, it's not going to be a ripoff of another design. It is a, a, a design I have come up co with completely on my own. And I've looked exhaustively. I cannot find this knife anywhere, which is why I want to try to find somebody who can make one. So if you are a uh, custom knife maker or if you do have access to like CNC machinery and uh, any kind of level of experience with this kind of thing, let me know. I'd be super interested in trying to prototype this particular knife. But anyway, guys, if you like the video, leave a like down below. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and make sure you have your notifications turned on so that you can be notified of all the content we have coming out. Always doing reviews on EDC knives, gear, um, with more of a lately tactical gear has been what I've been interested in, uh, some prepping. We do a lot of different types of videos, so uh, make sure you're subscribed and uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what type of fixed blade EDC knife you like and what kind of knife would you recommend for me? Is there a knife that you would recommend for me? Let me know. Anyway, guys, like I always say, always be caring and remember the best gear is the gear you have on you. That's right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Average Gear Reviewer, I'm out of here. Average Gear Review, but the best gear is the gear you have on you.